Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about one carving technique of Nixon pottery, the bamboo carving technique. First, let's take a look. A finished work of carved bamboo, the carving of bamboo is mainly about the description of bamboo, stems and leaves. Bamboo is named as one of the four gentlemen, therefore, when we depict bamboo, we will depict it with our carving knives. Then let's start to learn how to carve bamboo. But we need to take out a mud to make you observe it clearly. I will ink the part where I'm going to curve. So that ink part is where I'm going to curve on. I will curve a set of bamboo patterns on it. Firstly, we can see that there are two paths in this section, namely stem and leaves part. So when we do the carving, we need to carve out bamboo stem first. And the stems are straight. Therefore, when we use the knife, the blend of the knife is inclined. We need to cut it with strands. Here we draw a stem. So we should consider how to shoot the bamboo nodes. Diagonal like hook. Upward here. We depict two nodes. If we need to add nodes here, we can do the same way. That's how we curve out the bamboo stems. And we can curve another set of thin ones. We've already curved thick stems. Polish it. And shoe bamboo nodes. Then we move on the carving of the bamboo leaves. We know that bamboo generally grow out. A number of leaves. They can reach out from every direction. But when we curve it, we should focus on its direction, especially for the leaf tips. We should make it look more nimble. Here are some thin ones. Curve out the leaves. Then we move to the upper part. It might be some bamboo leaves here. Bigger one like this. We should clearly depict these leaves. One cut for one leaf. So basically we present the general picture of bamboo. If we need to add more details at its edges, we should use blade to polish the silhouette. Holy, later on. We can better show a silhouette when we paint slurry. Therefore we've carved this set of bamboo finally. So what we should notice when we practice is to carve out the stem first so that we can handle its whole structure. Then we can add leaves on the structure that we have depicted. And the entire picture is vivid now. That's all about this course.